Today we're going to look at a quick example of how to avoid uh, using an update action in a flow loop. Um, so you may have heard or you may have read um, that this is uh, kind of not, not the best way to set things up, right? It might be necessary if you need to do some type of uh, complex calculation or, you know, a, a specific use case, but really the uh, performance of flows that loop and have an update action within the loop uh, are not the most efficient. So here you can see that um, we have a flow. Our first step is um, the, lec the records that we're going to get. So if I look at this, uh, I just have, uh, you know, the opportunity object chosen here. I made a really basic filter. And then instead of how, uh, how many records are store having the only first record checked off, I have all records checked off which it means it's going to give me a record collection. It's going to give me more than one record stored in a variable. So now I'm going to loop through this, right? So if I loop through my loop example, I'm able to then use an assignment. So you can see here, uh, one of my options in the assignment is to, uh, is to look at the current item in the loop. So what I'm saying here is I'm going to look at the current item in the loop. Uh, I want to change that close date to the current date. So this is going to loop through the entire collection of opportunities and switch all of the close dates to the current date. We haven't saved anything yet. This is just an assignment. And once we're out of the loop after last is where I have my update. And you can see I have the update set to record or record collection. And I've... Uh, chosen the record collection. So now if I hit done and save, I can save this flow. Uh, and it's just a quick example of how to kind of build a loop here with the update outside of the actual loop itself.